Behind the belief that language is the key that opens the door of opportunity, Emma Lavecchia and Bridge Martin co-founded Pine Village Preschool, a Spanish language immersion preschool. Although questioned and met with skepticism at first, they prove that children at an early age can actually absorb multiple languages quickly and naturally if put in the right setting. Today, Pine Village has eight locations around the Boston area where toddlers as young as 15 months are exposed to teachers talking 100% in Spanish and are educated in this environment until kindergarten. Now, to tell us more about this innovative educational approach, we've invited both Emma and Bridge, as well as Darren Burris. He's a parent who currently has two children in the program and has another one uh, who's already completed it. Welcome to Urban Update. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for um, us. Let me start with, uh, I'll start with you, Emma, I guess, the, the, the beginning of this. What made you come up with this idea of uh, teaching kids another language um, that young, as young as 15 months? Mm. Um, so it started, um, back in about 2000. Um, Bridge and I at the time were both family child care providers, although we'd been in education for many years before that. Um, but as we were in family child care, we both understood and realized that we wanted to give children kind of a diverse experience. So we brought in um, a woman who was there to speak and teach Spanish lessons to them for a few hours a week. Um, and that was important to us then, and we both kind of knew that. We actually met um, while we both had family child care programs in Brighton. Um, now, okay. Now, when you first started this uh, bridge, I guess, uh, you, had, you had a lot of doubters, I imagine? We did. We had, um, particularly when we started in um, the, the first school in 2001 in Brighton, we had a lot of people questioning why Spanish and why a second language at all. Um, it just wasn't really a particularly popular concept at the time. People came to us because they really liked our approach to education at that particular time more than for the Spanish. And what, what, what do you think you were able to, to prove and show uh, in these years that you've had the program? I think when you start children at 15 months, it's just, you know, they just literally absorb it. It's, it's in their environment. They hear their peers speaking in that language. Um, it's just natural. It's easy. Okay. Um, and I think as the years went on, people really started to see the benefit of a second language and really the need for it. Today, it's, it's a very different environment. Okay, Darren Burris, uh, now you, you've taken your kids to Pine Village, I guess. Uh, why did you decide to do it, and uh, what has that experience been like for your kids? We did it for all the normal reasons. We were, we were from a working family. My wife and I both work, and we needed child care. So we needed something that worked with the time, that we felt that was safe and supportive, and kind of the general things that people look for. But we also wanted something, uh, we wanted a school that could provide something that we couldn't provide. And so when we came across them, we thought this is wonderful. Our kids will, um, we're, we speak English at home, so they're gonna get English only from us. And then at school they can get Spanish. And well, all three of them now are bilingual, unlike their dad. Really? Yeah. And your kids are getting how old now? Now there's six, five, and three. Wow. How long did it take for them to become? Pretty fluent? Yes. I think, um, I would say, by fluent, like not, not a huge vocabulary, but you know, a manageable vocabulary, I'd say 18 months maybe. Really? Wow. And, and again, they started, how, how old were the, the youngest ones when they started? The youngest ones started at 15 months. 15 right months. At the beginning. Wow, that's amazing. And then Bridge, uh, I guess um, this may seem like kind of an obvious question. I guess what are the, in your view, what are the benefits of bilingualism? So there's all sorts of research that's available now to, to show, you know, there's so many benefits. Um, one, of the, one of the key benefits is, um, is children's understanding of language overall, their metalinguistic skills, they really understand how language works. And so it's easier for those children to actually learn how to read. Um, it also has great benefits in terms of executive functioning for children. It helps them to focus in on um, what they're currently working on and sort of tune out other things. Um, it gives them an awareness of, you know, just that it's a multicultural world and um, well, Emma, uh, talk to me about the family. Who are the families that you serve? Um, how do you describe them? And you know, I guess you're. Uh, why do they come to Pine Village? Yeah, they're like Darren. I mean, I, I we have a very diverse group of families that come to us, and I think um, 
from many different countries and sometimes we have families that don't speak English or Spanish that come to Pine Village but typically a typical family is two working parents who may or may not have any Spanish in their environment but know that they want their children to be exposed to something a little progressive and a little bit different Mm -hmm. and, and I think you said that we were talking before that uh, uh, in the beginning there were some people had fears that this might delay their if you, if you start as early 15 months will that delay their speaking English at all yeah no because really when they start that young we are we are building a vocabulary with with two languages as opposed to um, starting with a child who has a full vocabulary and adding to it so we're starting that young and kind of creating creating a, a vocabulary base at the same time uh, uh, Go ahead, Darren. I'm yeah, sorry. I would say that in terms of the language acquisition and them acquiring it, the other benefit that I don't think we thought of when we started was that they're just getting exposed to like a whole diverse set of cultures and different experiences mm -hmm. so that bilingualism becomes like a way for them to understand that it's a big world. Mm -hmm. And they also become very attentive to the languages we hear on the street, where people are from, what language do they speak. They're just much more um, broad, kind of engaged little humans than I ever was. Do you, do you feel like this has a value for them uh, later in life? Yeah, I already feel like their perspective about the world is much bigger than mine ever was when I was little. And then we're also now trying, as Claire is now in kindergarten, trying to find innovative ways to keep her to maintain her language since we don't speak it at home. Well, that's amazing. Now, uh, Emma and Bridge, uh, I guess besides the language piece, how does Pine Village uh, prepare kids uh, and the students for kindergarten when they leave? So I think, you know, pretty typically as most preschools, we have a really strong curriculum. It's an emergent curriculum, meaning it comes from the areas of interest of the children. And we really try to inspire children to be curious learners and to really love learning. Um, I would say, though, the biggest thing that we focus on is social-emotional development. Okay. And I think that's a key indicator for their success. Well, Emma, I guess many Latino families uh, express frustration about uh, you know, the kids being born in the U.S. here and they don't speak Spanish. I guess, uh, is, this, is this a good program for them as well? Oh, yeah. I, yes. I think growing up in this country, there is really no way that they are not going to learn English. I think the challenge that we often find with Spanish-speaking parents is they need to find ways for their children to keep their culture and to keep their language. So coming to Pine Village really gives both of those as we celebrate the cultures of our teachers who come from all over Spanish-speaking countries. Your staff, what does your staff consist of? So they're, for the most part, um, native Spanish-speaking um, teachers from all over the world, from various Spanish-speaking countries. Okay, and, and how can people get more information uh, uh, about this? I mean, there's a website or...? Yeah, so our website is um, mybilingualpreschool.com. Mm -hmm. um, that's probably the best. Okay. Call one of the locations. Yeah. All of the numbers are right. on the website. You've got, eight, you've got eight different locations. You have, yeah. uh, are, they, are they all in Boston? Are they in, uh, outside or outside of Boston? Or? So we have two in Cambridge, mm -hmm. um, one in the South End, one in Brighton, two in Jamaica Plain, and then we have a school in Needham and a school okay. in Newton. Okay, and I'll give you the last word there, and I guess so what... Uh, um, I guess, what would you like to say to any other parent who would be consider something like this or who might not want to do something like this? I think that if you're, if you're a parent that wants a warm environment that broadens your children and kind of gives them a unique ability to connect with lots of different people wherever you are, it's just a wonderful experience. And can I give a quick shout out and thank you to all the teachers that have uh, worked hard for sure. okay. my three girls. <laughs> all right, well, great. Darren Burse, Emma Lavecchia, and Bridge Martin, uh, uh, congratulations to all three of you. Congratulations to uh, having an idea and seeing it through, and look where you are now. That's great. Mm, okay, you. and good luck with it. Thank you. All right, walking in heels to let the healing begin, an event that directly benefits survivors of domestic violence. Details when we come back.